This is the Fissler Vitavit pressure cooker. This is the top rated pressure cooker, not only for its ease of use, ability to brown meats, but also because it can save you up to 70% in cooking time. Today I'm going to be making barbecued pulled pork and to get started, I'm going to take the lid off, which is so easy. You simply use your thumb to push in the lid release button, rotate it to your right, and then it comes off that easily. Turn the stove on. I'm going to add a little olive oil and get that heating. Now I'm going to season my pork with a little brown sugar, some salt, pepper, garlic powder, and some cayenne. You can always season your meat hours ahead of time or even the day before and let it marinate in the fridge. But this is such a flavorful spice mixture that I'm just going to do it right now before we start cooking it. As you can see, I cut my pork into roughly fist-sized pieces. This is not only going to ensure a quicker cooking time, but this way I can get a nice sear on all sides. My oil is hot, so let's add the meat. I'm going to cook this for a few minutes until I get a nice sear on all sides, and then we'll add the rest of our ingredients. Now I'm going to add in one whole onion that I've cut in half, and some beef stock. You wanna be sure that you pay attention to the measurements inside the pan so that you have at least the minimum amount of liquid. Now I'm going to put the lid on, and it's so easy. You simply match where the word says close with the back of the pan, and then you turn the lid to the left, and when you hear that click and the red changes to green, you know the lid is locked into place. This dial on top indicates which setting I'm going to use for cooking. The one is for more delicate foods like fish and vegetables, and the two is for everything else, definitely the pork in this case. A unique feature about the Vitavit pressure cooker are these color indicator bands right here. It works sort of like a stoplight. When you see the yellow, it means that we're almost at the right pressure. Green means that you've achieved the right pressure and you can start the cooking time. And the red means it's a little too high and you're gonna to wanna to turn the stove down just a bit. Now that we've hit the green band, it means we can set our timer for 20 minutes. Then our pork will be finished. The pork is ready, so I'm going to turn off the stove. Now it's time to release the pressure and remove the lid. And you have three options for doing this. One, the natural release. Just let it sit here and release the pressure naturally, about 20 minutes. Or there's the instant release. You can run the entire pressure cooker under cold water. But I'm going to do the quick release. Put on an oven mitt. And I'm going to press in this button on the handle until I hear the pressure release a little. You'll notice that the pressure is coming out of these vents right here, away from me, which is a nice built-in safety feature. Another built-in safety feature is that I cannot remove the lid until all the pressure is released. And I think we're just about there. One additional tip before you remove the lid is give the pressure cooker a little shake just in case there are any pockets of steam built up around the food that needs to release. And I think it's time to take off the lid. Again, I'm gonna squeeze this button in, rotate to the right, and just be sure to remove the lid away from you to release the steam. The pork looks beautiful. Look at the nice color, so juicy. I'm going to put a few pieces on my cutting board so I can start shredding it to make my pulled pork. And using a couple of forks to shred apart my pork and look at how tender it is. In just 20 minutes in the pressure cooker. Pressure cooker is also great for making your favorite stews, braising meats, all sorts of recipes can be easily made in the pressure cooker.